Hey guys, Del Colvin with your fishing report for Bull Shoals Lake. Today is Friday. What is it? August 4th. Uh, water temperature is about 87 degrees. It's real. This is the hottest it's been all year. Uh, throughout the day, it'll it'll get in the 90s depending on where you're at. Lake levels at 658. Core's been keeping the lake pretty steady, so that's good. The last couple weeks have been pretty miserable with the heat uh but it looks like we do have a slight cool down coming in all in all august is you know august can be a tough month it's just that time of the year where a lot of things are going on uh, for me it's kind of when i start my junk fishing well day in day out i'm gonna probably rely on some more of the finessier techniques that being like a drop shot but i'll go over what's been working for me uh, get up early in the morning you'll beat the heat if it's really hot out get up there uh, if you the the shad will be up high in the water column early and if the bass are busting on them you'll find them the mouths of the creeks the ledges uh, on the main seems like there's some of these shad that are starting to move in there so those points uh it's just that time where it's gonna be you're gonna you're gonna work for them but you can make it happen if you get out there early you can throw a top water top water's working if you get them busting you can throw the gunfish a popper a little swim bait those some days it's really good and some days it's just don't happen so uh, if you if you can't get them in get the bait in there when you're busting you can throw a spoon in there uh, the tater shad's working on the deeper stuff so if you were graphing they were busting and you find a ball of shad and they're down in that 30 40 feet uh, the tater shad's gonna work you know as the sun gets up high i'm gonna pick up a drop shot the drop shot is working, you know, like I said, this is probably my number one for August, day in, day out. You're probably gonna have a drop shot in your hand to catch a bunch of fish. These fish out here on the ledges, they've been pressured, so there's big schools of fish out there. Getting them the trigger, that's gonna be the hard part. Uh, they've seen the big swim baits, they've seen uh, the big spoon quite a bit, so, you almost got to kind of finesse them. Uh, the shatter spread out everywhere. So typically you get in that around the thermal climb, they'll be anywhere from zero down the 30 feet early in the day. And later on in the day, they'll be zero down to 60 feet. So like I said, uh, if you're going to have to work for them, although it's been, you know, it's the hottest that it's been all year. Uh, we got a thermocline going, but the oxygen levels in the lake start getting kind of low. So there's there's a lot of fish that are move up shallow. So if you guys are power fishermen, you can put your time in and you'll catch some. Uh, if you go back into the creeks and the dirty water, target the channel swings. Uh, with bushes, uh, chatterbait's working. I'm throwing the chapo, whopper plopper. Those are working, just covering water. And if you come across isolated brush piles or brush, uh, the old big worms working, that'll catch you a few on that. Also, the buzz bait, the buzz toad, it's working. That's a crocker gator buzz bait. Uh, Jewel, that's the new Jewel peewee jig. That's getting fish. It seems like I got to have a little bit of stain in the water for that jig bite to be somewhat good. Guys, like I said, most days you're going to have to work for them. It's, it's August. So keep that in mind. I'll try and keep you updated on uh, Facebook, Instagram for the AGFC Weekly Fishing Report. Thanks for watching. See you on the water.